But we like to dedicate this show to Susan Fitzgerald Othmer. Our field has lost a lot of foundational figures. Sue was foundational for a whole bunch of people. Uh, she had her own intuitive insights into things. Uh, their early observations clinically ended up being validated later. Everybody comes to see the elephants in the parade. You know, they're the interesting part. The scientists come afterwards and they sweep up all the poop from the elephants. You know, she was she was out there doing a lot of good clinical insight, the going for infra slow, infra low frequency, the, the insight into doing that at all came from her. If you remember back then, Lubar was CZSMR, FZ beta, and, and they were doing C3, C4, and then C3, FZ, and C4, PZ. The observation of SMR being an SMR effect better on the right side than the left side, um, that was all clinical observation. And it wasn't validated, but, you know, uh, Andrew Hill uh, actually got his PhD at UCLA's brain lateralization lab, Aaron Zidell's lab, and he validated that observation. You know, they, they did uh, beta and SMR training left and right and, and got subjective reports, uh, fancy brain lateralization testing, dichotic listening and whatnot. I mean, the... It was a lab that was special, specialized in brain lateralization. Unfortunately, uh, Aaron also has passed. Aaron Sadell. So the, well, the we're going to give the field yeah. is 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 all getting older, and this is this is you know it happens with every field. The foundational folks end, end up you know passing, uh, but we passed the torch, and there are younger, uh, sharp, bright. Uh, uh, students and uh, grad students and young professionals that are uh, picking up the torch and carrying things forward and validating with solid research. Uh, the observation that the very slow training ends up influencing all the faster frequencies, cross-frequency coupling, um, uh, the, all, all of the detail, the science of what's happening during neurofeedback is starting to be detailed. You know, if it weren't for the foundational people in the field, we wouldn't be where we are. We're standing on the shoulders of giants and um, and we're happy for the view. And it, it's unfortunate every time we lose one of them, um, but it's, it's nature. Well, we got to get Siegfried on and we got to talk about Susan, learn more about her. There, there, there's a whole generation that wants to learn more. 